discuss lifestyle, style, faith, and beauty. So I hope that you guys enjoy this channel. If you are not a part of the Soul Style Beauty community, make sure to hit subscribe and then also follow me on other social platforms because when I'm not here, I'm usually on Instagram to be honest. So I hope that you guys really enjoy this video. So today, this is a faith talk and I'm going to talk about the perfect balance of work and surrendering to God. So this is super hard for me. This is one of my struggles as a believer and I vow to myself on this channel that I want to be more authentic into you know living in my truth so i hope that this video really opens up just dialogue to all of us to be better um we don't have to be perfect but we also got to put into the work to those areas of growth that we all have so that's what this channel is all about and let's get into the video um when it comes to my own ambition and my journey i know i grew up with crazy hustlers of parents like Till this day, both of my parents work every day, seven days a week. They work super hard, like they have a billion kids. Like they don't have to work that hard, but they, they just are. Their work ethic is crazy, let me just say that. So basically, I grew up around that. Me and my sisters grew up around that. So if you look at any of my sisters, they have businesses, they have blogs, they have just a lot of like ambition and motivation because that's the energy we grew up around in terms of my journey i always struggled with okay you're ambitious and i love that you know that's one of the things i really love about myself however when it comes to walking in your calling or walking into things that god has called you to be it's also kind of dangerous because you have to yield to the Holy Spirit in order to make sure you're walking in God's plan. So when I look at the effects of like all ambition, no faith, I think about like you having no character development because you showed up prematurely to a destination. Things are super duper easy and it's like, God, I don't need you because this is so easy and I can get myself wherever I want to. And number three, it's kind of like you have no faith. You left yourself spiritually empty to just pursue anything that you want to pursue. When I look at the effects of all faith, no ambition, no no work, I think of just you being lazy, procrastinating, and it also shows a level of unbelief because you are going to pursue something if you b really believe that God told you to pursue something you're going to put in the work but you not putting the work is kind of like a check to yourself do I actually believe this if you believe something you also have to do the work so I think having a perfect balance of those things is super important and like I said for me it's always a constant struggle. This is literally one of like my areas of growth. Just like as a believer, I'm always like, oh, like, is this me? Is this my flesh? Or is this God telling me to do something? And I think that my flesh and the spirit are always battling, literally. Um, and it's this idea of like, yeah, you may have ambition, but are you actually pursuing the things that God wants you to pursue now being married and not having like my own life and one day hoping to have a family i think that this is something that i really pray about all the time just like yielding 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 to the holy spirit for certain decisions when it comes to my life just because that ambition can make you go a totally different way and like god did never like never told you to go that way so here are some ways that i usually like to check myself because i'm just like uh-uh honey you need god <laughs> don't find yourself in that predicament where you just are lost like so the first thing that i like to do is honestly yield and not make decisions when i'm super super excited so you know when you have a business plan and you feel like you're in the beginning like in the works like you're in there like it's about to happen i like to just pause like i'm working on a project right now and i even delayed that and i was like you know what i'm just gonna delay this because i've had certain business plans and they failed it was like purely off of passion and no faith and i was just like i've made decisions like that but yielding also helps me to say okay let me stop let me see what god says about this let me wait patiently to hear from him to see if i should jump into the situation or not so basically this is a scripture that i recently read and i'm going to read part of it to you but this is the passion translations of galatians 5 16 through 26 and it says as you yield freely and fully to the dynamic life and power of the holy spirit you will 
abandon the cravings of your self-life. For your self-life craves the things that offend the Holy Spirit and hinder him from living free within you. And the Holy Spirit's intense cravings hinder your old self from dominating you. So then the two incompatible and conflicting forces within you are your self-life of the flesh and the new creation of life of the Spirit. But when you are brought into full freedom of the spirit of grace you would no longer be living in the domination of law but soaring above it and that yielding is important because i think it shows your reflection of your heart towards god like god i trust you what you say actually matters to me i believe that you have the best plans for my life so i'm gonna stop and see exactly what you want to say number two i don't make decisions with temporary emotions this is so so important I used to be one to like get a high off of like excitement, okay? Like if I feel like, you know, this is great. This is a great, it's, it's okay to just say, you know what, let me just wait. Let me give this some thought. Let me just leave this alone and come back to it a different day. Just pausing and saying, wait a minute. Let me take a minute to step back and actually put some thought into this and not just be led by emotions is super duper important. The third thing I like to do when it comes to just like making sure that I have the perfect balance of ambition and faith is to also write down the things that I am pursuing and remembering my why behind them. Sometimes we're doing so, so, so much and that can even be you in ministry, okay? You pouring yourself out, you, you're you in this ministry, you're in that ministry, write them all down because at the end of the day, if it's taking time away from you spending time with God, with you actually putting in work to have a relationship with him, you have to really question like, is this actually from God? And I've been in those situations where I'm literally doing the most the most and it's like okay yeah thank you god for the opportunities but then yet i'm spiritually empty at the end of the day so writing those things down and praying over these things god if this is not from you take it away i don't want it help me to pursue things that you want me to pursue lastly and i may not be super duper perfect when it comes to spending time with god abiding in him is super important when you read his word you just it renews your mind it refreshes your soul and it just gives you a whole different perspective on life and if i have that perspective daily if i'm refreshing my soul daily then that's telling me okay yes i'm not going to be chasing after my own ambitions because i know i'm looking to you every single day plugging into you every single day and that's another way of checking ourselves and making sure that our selfish ambition doesn't get into god's plan thank you guys so so much for watching this video i hope it was super helpful and if you can relate definitely comment down below how do you deal with this struggle um also if you're not following me on instagram follow me at soul style beauty and i will see you in my next video bye y'all